Hello! Welcome back to my Faster Than Light playthroughs. I'm Devotee as always, and let's just get straight into it. Now, after my run last time, I've decided to go with the Nisacio again. Um, but yes, just like last time, we will rename it to the De... Oh, no, the, it's already there. The Devotee, right? And... I can rename these guys. Or oh, girls, whatever. I didn't get any good name suggestions. So, actually... I'm probably just going to keep them as they were. Yeah, okay. And I've had some tips from a couple of people on this ship, so let's just see how we go, go straight into it. Usual sort of stuff. Right. So I need to power up these straight off the bat. Can power up that, get rid of that. So my engines are now fully powered and my beams and lasers are actually powered up. But I'm going to switch these round because it just seems like my most dominant weapon should be on one. So let's get going. Now I've got these long range scanners and I did watch some videos and read on some forums about this. And it recommended avoiding ships, kind of, until you get a shield. Wow, that's loud. So let's just see how we go, right? So, don't have missiles to sell, so yeah, that's fine. But here, I can't avoid a ship. So I'm going to go to the one that's closest. Right. This is exactly like last time. <laughs> And I'm going to have to attack it, because there's no way I'm giving them my slaves. So, isn't it right before they attack, you go cloak. And then they miss. But, I feel like I should have been shooting all this time. So, yeah. I need to get this through as many rooms as possible as well. Ooh. Oh god, I haven't even set my crew positions. Another thing someone said, which I do usually do, is to pause a lot. But you know, it's not too bad. Okay, so that's not ready yet. Good thing that they're missing. It's really boring pausing though. But I guess it makes it better. Oh, their shields are annoying. Come on. Right, shields are down. <sighs> My bay down. God. Take one of our slaves, absolutely. I would do it. You can be our chief repairer. Dun, 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 dun. What on earth was that? Oh well. I've got a slaver. Right, there's two ships again. And I avoid the... I think it's a nebula. Yeah. I don't like that area. So I'm going to see what happens. Ooh. You notice a flurry, flurry of lasers, fire glance by the port window. The mantis are upon you. Okay. So we do want to take out their shields. But also we want to take out their weapons. So let's try... Eh, yeah, we'll go on the non-system rooms with the laser, just to get more damage in. Ah, C is to cloak, okay. I hope C works. Oh, do you know what? I totally waited for the wrong, <laughs> wrong person to fire. 
I was under the impression like as soon as something fires you have to cloak. That you know destroyed them. Got a bit of scrap. Alright let's just see what I can do ship wise. Because I am taking this seriously. This run. I know that on normal mode which I'm playing on there's a lot of uh, what do you call it? Borders. There's a lot of borders. The enemy come on your, on your ship a lot. So I know I could improve blast doors, but then I've read that increasing healing gives you a lot of blue options. Also, apparently oxygen can give you blue options. Uh, cloaking, I guess, would be good. I think actually I'm going to keep my scrap. For now, shall I just start stacking power bars maybe? No, I'm going to save it all for the ship. For the store. For the ship. Okay, this is in the nebula, but there's no ship detected with my long range scanners. So, as much as I don't like it. Ooh, blue option. Pump extra power into your sensors and try to track them. Hell yeah, blue options apparently always the way to go. Ah, uh, so there's a hidden ship in the nebula if you read the text. Ah, uh, track them. You follow the faint signatures to find them floating not too far away into the nebula. Thrilled to be found by friendlies, they come on board and abandon their wrecked ship. More crew! More crew! But, I need to get out of here. Because I'm in the nebula. Right. Let's jump to the non-ship. Oh, but then... Oh. If I go down this way, I get trapped. So I need to go up to this one. <laughs> Not good. I hate the nebula. Oh, God. Okay. Here we go again. Let's take out that. And I'm going to use the laser across the three rooms again. Because that was, like, quite a good strategy, I felt. And this time, when they fire... I will cloak, not when I fire. So I'm gonna fire now. Right. Hell yeah. Not bad. Hey, there's another way. Oh no. I don't mind though, if they take out my cloaking. Oh yeah, that was a lot quicker. But I've got hold damage. Okay, more scrap, more missiles, more drones, more repairs. Right. Actually, I think I could get. It says danger. I think that's bad. Ah! Possible ship detected. No. Very close to a nearby sun. That sounds dangerous. We don't want any danger. Without active sensors, you have no other options but to look out of viewports in apprehension. It's eerily quiet. So what, there's nothing here. Fantastic. Ooh. If I go up to this distress, I have to come back down. Do I have time? No, I'm avoiding it, but I will have to go to this ship. I want to make it to the end with this stealth cruiser. Another hostile. And they're trying to get away and they will no doubt warn the fleet of my position. So. Take out their FTR. I'll try and take out their weapons with my little beam. I can try and cloak. What's quicker? Yeah, lasers are my side are quicker. So. Oh, I should have saved it for the missiles. God damn it. Okay. Yeah, I need to learn the, um, need to learn what weapons they've got. I got my cloak back. So, uh, 
I'm not pausing it. I need to pause more. Right, I take them out. The fleet will never know that I'm here, even though they're catching up and whatnot anyway. Distress is that one. I'm gonna go. I have time to go up. 